Hi, Todd Bourne here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead. And today, of course, a cloudy, bit of a rainy and cold day across the Arklatex today. We did see a few areas of sleet over parts of the region early this morning that became all rain. No issues with that winter precipitation. And it looks like the rain is wrapping up across the area as the upper level disturbance approaches from uh, the west. Here's a look at that uh, disturbance as we check out the weather pattern across the country. You can see it moving into the northeastern sections of Texas. And this will continue to move towards the east. We will see this big upper level ridge, which is to our west, expand to the east and take its place. And as that happens, uh, we will kind of settle into an extended period of dry weather and an extended period where we experience temperatures that will be well above normal. In fact, it's quite possible we could see one of the warmest Christmases on record uh, here in the Arcotex. Definitely will be in the top five as we'll talk about that in a second. Meantime, let's take a look at the next few days and you can see that uh, Tonight, as that upper level disturbance moves across the Oracle text, we'll be left with quite a few clouds, which will begin to decrease late tonight. Tomorrow, I expect lots of sunshine, and we begin that warming trend as we return to pretty much normal for this time of year with highs in the upper 50s. Uh, tomorrow night, looking clear and a bit uh, on the cold side. And then Wednesday, we will see plenty of sunshine. And again, that sunshine will likely last through Christmas weekend and actually through most of next week, though it checks out right now. Here's a look at at the uh, weather pattern for the next 10 days. You can see the upper level disturbance moving across the area tonight. Here comes the upper level ridge, uh, slowly inching its way into the eastern sections of Mexico, Gulf of Mexico here by the time we get to Christmas. Uh, the center of the ridge actually moves into the eastern Gulf by Monday, and Sunday and Monday actually could be the warmest days of the next 10. And then we'll <coughs> watch the center of this ridge gradually expand more towards the east, uh, there is a possibility we could see a, a disturbance bringing some rain, say, Thursday of next week. But as of right now, it looks like those rainfall chances are looking rather slim. We will have to keep an eye on this uh, energy, which is near and off the West Coast. Eventually, this is going to bring us some rain, but nothing that is uh, <clears throat> on the way for the foreseeable future. Now, I mentioned the warm-up, which is on the way in the week ahead. Let's take a look at uh, the top five warmest Christmases. And you can see the record high for Christmas Day, 83, that was set back in 1964. As of right now, I'm forecasting right around 78. So we definitely will see uh, a top five warmest Christmas this year, the way it looks right now. And don't be shocked if we actually do manage to hit 80 degrees. And uh, I do think we'll hit 80 degrees at some point in the next several days, uh, starting Friday. And uh, again, that uh, warmth will likely stick around uh, into the beginning of next week, as you'll see in the 10-day here in a second. But tonight, cold the theme. As the clouds begin to decrease, we'll see lows in the mid to upper 20s north, 27 in Dequeen, 28 in Idabel, 29 degrees in Mount Pleasant, 35 tonight for the low temperature in Shreveport. Tomorrow, expect sunshine to return, and it will Begin to warm up with highs mainly in the mid to upper 50s, 59 in Shreveport and Marshall, 57 degrees for the high temperature tomorrow in Texarkana. Also looking at 57 for the high in Magnolia beneath that mostly sunny sky. Here's a look at your 10 day forecast and it shows the continuation of that warming trend. Mid 60s for Wednesday, mid 70s for Thursday, close to 80 for Christmas Eve, upper 70s for Christmas Day, back up into the 80s Sunday and Monday. And then we'll ease back into the middle 70s for the middle part of next week. Small chance of rain Tuesday and then again Thursday. But most of us, the way it looks right now, should stay dry. Look for overnight lows. Again, 30s for the next few nights, warming back up into the 50s and 60s as we get closer to Christmas Day. So again, for Christmas Day, it's possible our low temperature could be above what's normal for the high temperature. That's exactly how warm we're going to be. So it looks like dry and warm the theme here in uh, the Arklatex here for the next week and a half with uh, sunshine returning tomorrow and temperatures back up to normal tomorrow. But again, up into the upper 70s, low 80s as we head towards Christmas weekend.